And despite the tough times that South Korean firms in Kaesong Industrial Complex have had to go through over the years, data is showing that listed companies there have actually been doing quite well. To tell us how this was possible, here's our Kim Min-ji. Listed South Korean firms with operations at the Kaesong Industrial Complex have been faring well despite inter-Korean relations blowing hot and cold over the years. According to the Corporate Association of the Kaesong Industrial Complex, the company's average sales rose nearly 120 percent between 2005 and 2013. Their operating profits also jumped more than 140 percent over the same period. This translates into a compound annual growth rate of about 10 percent in terms of sales and 12 percent in operating profit. South Korean firms entered the Kaesong Industrial Complex in 2004, and full operations began in December that year when it started production. The firms tend to suffer when tensions are high on the Korean Peninsula, and they were hit the hardest in 2013 when North Korea unilaterally shut down the complex for five months. However, despite such drawbacks, experts say cheap labor is an advantage that boosts the firm's competitiveness. And with half of the list of firms in the complex also logging double-digit growth rates in net profits, their performances stand out from the rest of the South Korean corporate sector. Recent data shows Korean companies reported an average of $5.5 of net profits on every $100 of sales last year. That's below the global average of $7.9. Korean firms' profitability also fell by nearly three percentage points in the past three years, the second worst corporate showing among 25 major economies. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.